Hey guys, it's Cece back with a brand new video and today's video is going to be another everyday makeup drawer. This week I'm using whatever I decide to call it, Shop My Stash. This is that video. If you are new to my channel and do not know what that is, I do have a playlist that I will link in this video so you can check out the others. But really it is just me going through my makeup collection and seeing new products that I maybe haven't used yet, products that I've been neglecting, or products that are very, very close to the end that I just really want to finish using them up and get them out of my collection. I do these videos periodically because I just have so much makeup and I really want to start using them and getting my money's worth of the makeup that I have. So these videos are really great because I really get to go through my makeup collection and see what I have and really dig for stuff that I just stopped using for some reason. It also gives me an idea of what I may want to declutter. I believe I'm going to be doing a declutter very soon. Things are just getting really, really crowded over there. So it's really time to do a declutter and really see what I use, what I need and what I don't need because honestly, I do not need all the makeup that I have. And so doing a declutter is a great way to go through everything and make sure that I can see everything and make it visible and really see, see what I have. And I was going to say what I need, but I don't need anything, but really just to see what I have and how I can use it more. So before we get started, I just wanted to say hello. My name is Cece. If you are new to my channel, do not forget to click that subscribe button so you can join the family and become a part of this YouTube journey that we're on. If you are not new to my channel, thank you so much for returning and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and let's jump into the video. with some lashes. I don't feel like I've ever put lashes in an everyday makeup drawer shop my stash video. So we're going to start with some lashes. If you guys remember, you know what? Now I don't know if I did. I feel like I hauled this for you guys, but it might have just been on Snapchat. But I got all of these lashes from eBay. They were 77 cents for the entire pack. So I, of course, stocked up on so many packs of lashes. And I'm not a makeup artist. Like I've told you guys a million times, I'm not a makeup artist or anything like that. So why I bought so many lashes, I do not know. But I need to start using them because they're taking up a lot of space in my drawers. So I'm going to start using them. And I'm going to use them this month. I've already used one of these. And I really, really do love the lashes. So I'm definitely going to continue. These lashes are super cheap, but they're really good quality. I actually reused um, this one pair that is gone from here. I've actually reused that lash like twice, which I really don't need to because I have so many, but I mean, I just hate wasting stuff. But I will be using those lashes this month. And this month is a great month for like holiday parties and stuff like that. So I definitely be wearing lashes a lot more. Then I have two brushes here. I want to do a video with these brushes. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think. This is the actual real Tarte Kabuki brush. This brush is supposed to be great for foundation. I just haven't gotten around to trying it yet. And this is a dupe for the brush that I got from AliExpress. I hauled this um, a while ago and I just really have not used it yet. Both are very soft and very dense and seem like they would do a great job on liquid foundation. So I think I might do a battle of the you know real versus the fake or whatever and um, we'll see how that goes but yeah I want to use these brushes this month and just start using them I do want to let you guys know too that a lot of these products that I'm about to show you are on my face I have done a video with these products so um, it might either be up right after this or right before this when it is up it will be linked in this video and down below in the description box so you can check that out and you can see this look so you can see a lot of these products in action and I'll let you know which ones are on my face as I go through them so let's just keep going this is the morphe the little palette this is a new palette that morphe has come out with it's ten dollars they have four of them and and I think it's such a great concept. You get eight shadows in each palette and they're all packaged according to different, I guess according to different color families or categories. So this one is called Copper Popper and it really has some great copper warm tone shades in it. So just like shades that I could live and die in. Like I love these shades. So this is, I bought another one, but this is the one that I really want to focus on this month just because the warm tones and the golds, I feel like really go with the holidays. And this is on my eyes today. 
Then I have this Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. This is the pore minimizing version. This is a product that I feel like is never ending. It is the small version, but I've had this forever, and I swear to you guys, I use this all the time, and it just refuses to finish. Like, I have to be so close to the very end, so I'm still going to chug along with it, and we are going to get this done this month. I really believe that. I am jumping all over the place today, you guys. Hope you don't mind. But we're going to go into fragrances now. I have two fragrances that I really want to use up. These are like the small rollerball size fragrances, and they're so old, so it's really time to get rid of them. This one is the Kim Kardashian fragrance. This, um, I don't even know why I bought this. Do I even like this scent? I don't even really like this scent. It smells kind of grandmaish, so I think I'm just going to throw it away. I'm... Uh, <sighs> I don't know. I might try it out one day, maybe when I go to work, but I'm just really not liking it right now. But anyway, this is the Lady Gaga Fame. This one I do absolutely love. However, it is getting pretty old, so it's time for me to use it up before it goes bad. And I really loved the concept of the black perfume. I just thought it was so innovative. I love Lady Gaga, so I ran out and purchased this. Um, a long time ago so it's really time to get rid of it it has a 36 month lifespan and I think it's right around there if not a little bit over that time frame so it's time to use it up going back to the face I have the urban decay all-nighter waterproof long wear liquid foundation done a full review on this this is also on my face so check out that review and you can see my thoughts on it but I will be using this more this month again a month for holiday parties so you want to look flawless you want to look your best you want your makeup to last all night so this will definitely do the trick so I am pulling this back out so I have also started my fitness routine back up and every time I start my fitness routine back up I feel like my face goes crazy and starts breaking out and I don't know I don't know and my face just goes crazy so I'm gonna try a new concealer this is the elf what is this called lightweight concealer stick in the color medium dark this I am going to try to cover up blemishes on my face because I know I'm gonna get them because like I said I started my fitness routine back up so I think this is going to be very beneficial in covering up the spots on my face this was either three or six dollars I can't remember but um, I'm definitely hoping that it works and it just keeps my skin looking good throughout the days I also have a concealer setting powder. This is the Ulta Pressed Setting Powder in the color Banana. I haven't tried many Ulta products, so I was really surprised at how much I liked this. So I might have to go and try some new products. You guys saw me haul a bunch of Ulta products, and I really haven't delved into those yet. But this pressed setting powder I actually have been using. I have it under my eyes today, and I must say that I am impressed with it. So I want to keep using it and testing it out. If you guys want to see this um, just in a separate video on its own and just see how it works and a demo with it a review let me know and I can um, get that done for you so just a few more products I have another face product this is the Maybelline master contour v-shape duo stick contour and highlight this I have not have I even opened this I don't even think I've opened this but this is in the color deep and this is how it looks it looks like a penis actually doesn't it looks like a penis but it has a deep side for contouring and then a like yellowish light side for highlighting and you're just supposed to put that on your face it's supposed to be very easy and then blend out I don't know how this is gonna work again I have not used this but I think I might do a dedicated video on this um, if you guys want to see that give this video a thumbs up and let me know down below another new product this is the lemonade highlighter palette this is on my face today as well you can see the glow right there so this is from Lena lashes I've been obsessed with some of their products their liquid lipsticks especially I've been so impressed with them they're so affordable and it's an online 
I believe it's a black owned brand so you can check them out I am not sponsored by them or anything like that I wish I was but I'm not but this is the lemonade palette that they just came out with reminds me so much of an Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit it's in a smaller size so more compact a lot more travel friendly very flat and just has the most beautiful glowy colors in it it only has one shade so these are the only colors that she has but maybe she'll come out with more who knows this is the bronzy shade that I have on my face today and that shade is that shade is sweetie pie so this one is bikini this one is pool party this one down here is lemonade and this one is sweetie pie so those are the four shades in the palette. The only thing about the palette, I just wish that she would have put the names underneath and that would have been so much easier, but whatever. So last little product that I have to show you is the lip color that I'm wearing on my lips. This is Max Ruby Woo. Do you guys remember when everyone was obsessed with Ruby Woo? Like everyone, including myself, was obsessed with Ruby Woo. And for good reason. This is the best damn red lipstick. I still stick to that, okay? Even with all of the liquid lipstick colors coming out, I still stick to this and say that Ruby Woo is the best damn red lipstick that you can find. It is a little bit drying, but so are all those liquid lipsticks that we're subjecting ourselves to. So I don't see it as any different. It's a MAC lipstick, so you know it's quality, and it's just a great color. Like, look at it. It is the perfect red. This is the color that I pull out every single holiday season, and I'm like, I must wear my Ruby Woo or my Riri Woo, one or the other. But Ruby Woo is in this video. This is just like the original OG baby, like, I just love this color. So if you guys have Ruby Woo, pull it out and show her some love. All right, you guys, so those are the products that I will be using over the next three, four weeks and just really trying to get some use out of them and get my money's worth for what I spent on them. If you guys like these types of videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below and let me know any other videos that you would like to see me do. My social media will also be listed down in the description box, so make sure you're following me on Instagram, on Snapchat, and you're also liking my Facebook fan page. I would definitely appreciate that. I just post different things on different social media sites. I'm the most active on Instagram. Instagram but I do a lot of things on snapchat like unboxings and showing you guys just new makeup that I got that I may not show here on my channel so you get a lot of sneak peeks on snapchat and my Facebook fan page I like to just post video announcements giveaway announcements and just other fun makeup facts and fun things on my Facebook fan page so make sure you're following me on all three of those other than that I hope you're already subscribed if you're not go ahead and click that subscribe button down below. Don't make me say it again. Again, like thumbs up this video. And I think that is it. I will talk to you guys in the next video. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.